I cannot believe I'm actually doing this right now, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to share with you every single offer letter that I've received throughout my seven years in tech as a self-taught developer. Let's get into this, and I hope I don't regret this. All right, I'm going to share every offer letter I've received. I am honestly nervous. I can't believe I'm doing this right now, but I'm going to do it anyway. <sighs> But before we begin, I want to thank today's sponsor, Soundcore by Anchor, for sponsoring this video, but I'll get to them in just a second. Everyone, let's just get into it. My first offer letter. I'm looking at it right now behind the camera, and let's just go. The very first offer letter I'm going to show you is the first offer I received as a junior self-taught front-end developer. It is kind of crazy when I look at this offer letter as I'm looking at it right now, because I feel nothing but... Nostalgia. What I mean by nostalgia is, you know, you work so hard. You put in months, so much time, hours after hours of hours of effort, learning code, and you never know if it will be worth it, right? You're putting this time, you're taking a risk of putting time in learning code when you could be putting it to maybe in college or school, not knowing if it'll be worth it in the end. But then when you receive that first offer letter and you see that it's worth it, that unbelievable feeling is amazing. And so this first offer letter that I received from my first job working at Cornerstone Payment Systems, oh my gosh, this offer letter was amazing because three weeks before I received this offer letter, the company I used to work at, which was an audiovisual company in Huntington Beach, threatened to fire me because I didn't want to go have lunch with my colleagues. What? Why? Because I'd rather learn code in my car by myself or learn code in the office by myself rather than having lunch with everyone because I knew I didn't want to be there in the long term anyway. And so when they threatened to fire me, I told myself, you know what? I need to start applying to jobs. I need to get out of here ASAP. Two to three weeks later, get this job offer on June 20th, 2016 from the CEO of Cornerstone Payment Systems to be a junior web developer. And let's read this, everyone. I'm just going to read this out, out loud to y'all right now. And let's see what this says. Chris, pursuant to our discussions, Cornerstone Payment Systems is pleased to offer you a full-time position as a web developer, one aka junior web developer. Your position will be based in Tustin, California. We trust that your knowledge, skills, and experience will be among our most valuable assets. Should you accept this job offer, which I did, pursuant to the company policy, you'll be eligible to receive the following compensation beginning on the date you begin this position. Compensation, base salary, $45,000 a year. That is insane. $45,000 a year. Prior to that, I was making about twenty-eight dollars to $32,000 a year because they cut my hours in my last job. That was insane. Receiving this job offer, as soon as I received this job offer, I went into the office I used to work for in Huntington Beach, gave them a one day, no not even a one day notice, an instant notice that I'm quitting. And that felt so freaking good. I worked at this company for about two years. At this company, I worked with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, a little bit of PHP and Laravel, but not that much, a little bit of MySQL, but not that much, mainly front-end developer. Now, they promised to give me an increase in salary from 45 k to 50 k after three months. I was there for two years. They never did. So I applied to a new company at Entrepreneur Media. And when Entrepreneur Media gave me their offer letter, that is when this company said, Chris, we value you so much. We're going to give you a $60,000 salary instead. <laughs> two years later after asking month after month after month for about one and a half years i finally gave up and applied and got a way better offer and even when i received a new offer to the second job this company was still not willing to match that salary and they lost me went to a new company and i went to entrepreneur so now let's look at the offer i received from entrepreneur oh my god Gosh, looking at this offer. I remember making a video oh, about this. Entrepreneur Media. When I received this offer, I was so happy. They didn't double my salary, but it felt like it. I remember when I received this job offer. I remember when I interviewed there. And I remember making a video a couple weeks later at the office talking about where I interviewed and etc. I'll put that link right here. Nostalgia. Oh, shoot. And I filmed this. I filmed my journey from working at the first job to my second job. It's crazy to have all this on camera right now. That is absolutely insane. But anyways, look into, let's look at this. Entrepreneur Media, dear Chris, we are pleased to offer you a full-time position of front-end engineer with Entrepreneur Media. Let's scroll down. Start date. I started in August 20th, 2018. Remember, two years before that, 2016, job offer from my first company. Compensation, your annual salary will be $70,000 a year, which we pay to you semi-monthly. That's about 2000 I don't know, 300 bucks per month after taxes, or maybe 2100 with insurance, right? That's a big difference because the job prior to that, 
after taxes, I was making 1300 bucks every two weeks to making about 2000 plus per paycheck every two weeks. Insane, and not just that, if you scroll down to medical, I get medical insurance. My first job didn't offer medical insurance. This company offered medical insurance. Now, the first job though, what they started to do is that they offered to help pay for my health insurance. They would reimburse me for every time I pay for health insurance, right? So I am thankful for that. But now this company will straight up pay for my health insurance, which is amazing. And it was good health insurance as well, right? So I'm really thankful for that. I'm really happy that I took that pay bump at the new company. Now I had here an entrepreneur. I worked at an entrepreneur for about two years as well. And the only reason I no longer worked at this company was because I was laid off during the pandemic. I was laid off. Now at entrepreneur, what did I work on? HTML, CSS jquery php laravel just like the other company but more php and laravel not as much as that to be considered a full stack developer then before i was laid off we started transitioning to node.js as felt.js then i was laid off unfortunately so after i was laid off i was looking for a job again right i tweeted on twitter got a ton of responses and three days later after being laid off from this company which i'm thankful for, i love this company um, i love the people i work with at least only a couple days later and by the way i made a video of the day i was laid off i have all this documented but only a couple days later i received two job offers within just maybe within two days i received a job offer from a startup in virginia and i received a job offer from a silicon valley company now the offer from the company in Virginia, I didn't have a letter. It was just word of mouth. There was never any paper signed. Anyway, the offer from Silicon Valley, I have that here with me right now. Let's take a look at this. But before we move on to the next company and show you my other offer letter, I want to thank today's sponsor, Soundcore by Anchor. So Soundcore came out with new inner earphones, which is the Liberty 4. Pretty amazing, the Soundcore Liberty 4. And this was very convenient for me because I went to Mexico on a retreat not too long ago and I lost one of my earphones. I left it in the hotel room. That is when these actually came in clutch because as soon as I came back from Mexico, these earphones were waiting for me to use here back at home. Some cool things about these earphones I wanna let y'all know about is this. Number one, they have pretty good sound quality, right? So because I was stuck to use these, and I couldn't use these at all because I don't like using just one earphone, especially when you're on the airplane. I want to wear two earphones. The sound quality on here is actually pretty good. Now, one of the things that I do like about this is the fact that they do have spatial audio. If you're like me, when I'm on the plane watching movies, I like wearing earphones where I feel like I'm immersed in it, which I was able to do with these earphones. On top of that, what you'd probably be surprised about is the fact that these earphones have heart rate tracking which is kind of crazy. All you need to do is use a Soundcore Wellness app if you want to do that. And then of course, these are very comfortable. Now, even on top of that as well, what I do like about these earphones is the fact that they do have artificial intelligence EQing, where based on the size of the ears, it does some equalization to make the audio sound as best as possible and 28 hour battery life with the case. But anyway, Soundcore, I want to thank you for sponsoring this video. And now let's move on to the next part of the video. So this offer letter from three market tiers, this company gave me a job offer of $7,500 per month. Think about this. Okay. I was laid off from entrepreneur. I received a new job offer just a couple days later, going from 70 K a year to $90,000 a year. And I negotiated that after three months, they raised my pay to $95,000 a year. And this happened during a pandemic when so many people were losing their jobs. I was able to increase my pay by $25,000. But what did I end up doing? Rejecting this job. Why did I reject this job? They were going to have me do the same thing that I did entrepreneur, which would not help me level up my career. I was going to work at HTML, CSS, Laravel, PHP, all the technology that's not really growing with the modern technology, the modern stack as a front end developer, as a web developer. I ended up rejecting that job because they also wanted me to do a lot of email development, which I did not want to do. I knew that my career would stay stagnant, that I'd be stuck at around 100K a year if I did not move past this. So I rejected this job offer. I moved to the startup in Virginia. And as y'all know, I left that company after 10 months as well. So what sucks is that after entrepreneur, you'll see now in my history that I don't really stay at the company for a year or more than a year after that. I left that startup in Virginia after about 10 months, maybe, maybe 11 months. I left that company because what happened with the CTO, I made a video on that too. He started yelling at me like crazy, being very toxic. And I have self-respect. If you're gonna treat me like that in front of everyone, I quit on the spot. And after I quit that job is when I found a new job. So when I quit that job, I put out on Twitter that I'm quitting a job. I take care of my family. I don't know what I'm going to do. That tweet went viral. And guess what? That tweet reached the director of DevRel at New Relic. That director DM'd me on Twitter. I interviewed at the company to be a developer relations engineer, developer advocate. 
and they got the job. Now, I'm excited to share this with y'all because the pay increase that I got from this, the pay increase that I got from this job, from working at that startup, by the way, that startup only paid me 80K a year, to my job at New Relic, the pay bump is insane. Let's look at that right now. Wow. This offer letter from New Relic, November 23, 2020, and it says, Dear Chris, we are very pleased to offer you a position with New Relic. Relic. Now, before I share this offer let number with you, the, the 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 compensation, please understand, I was making 80K a year. I was probably only making 20K a year from YouTube at the time, right? And so that brought my income to around 100K, I guess you could say, right? But it still didn't feel like much because I was supporting my parents who also did not work because of the pandemic. I had to help support them and support myself with only 100K a year. That's not easy, right? So when I received this offer that more than doubled my income as an engineer in tech. When I received that phone call that I got the offer and received the offer and read it, I remember I was driving home from the grocery store. I remember I was, I saw the notification on my phone. I got an email with the offer letter. I was sitting in my car when I parked in front of my house. I opened that phone, read the email, read the number. I went into my house. I remember I as soon as I closed the door, I didn't even get past the front door. I, mean, I got past the front door and I was just there and I fell to the ground on my knees crying because I reached a level of income I never thought I'd ever reach in my life. And I was able to more than double my income from my last job, that startup where I was very unhappy to move into New Relic. And I'm very thankful to my boss there, Jonah Scheffler. He's amazing. I did an interview with him too. I'll put that in the link in the description below. I've documented my whole journey, which is so amazing. And I couldn't believe it. So let's look at the offer letter right now. Oh, wow. I'm crying again compensation so start date if you accept this offer your employment with the company shall begin on december 7th 2020 or other such date as mutually agreed you will work out of your home office virginia see i was living in virginia compensation in consideration consideration for your services to the company you will be paid an annual salary of one hundred sixty thousand dollars, and below my quarterly bonus will be six percent and with stock with rsus totaling up to around one hundred eighty three thousand dollars a year from 80K a year to 183K a year. Like that. And this all happened because I was laid off. If I was never laid off from entrepreneur, I would never have reached this point in my career. So I work in New Relic. I leave after 10 months. Why do you leave after 10 months, Chris? You've more than doubled your income. You're being paid like crazy. Pharmacists make 180K a year and they go to school for what, six years? eight years after getting their master's or a bachelor's and then they have a lot of debt and I was able to do that in four or five years. It's insane. And I left because after making money, I learned that I need to make sure I look out for my mental health after grinding in tech for so long. It's just chasing money, money, money. I'm like, no, no more. I need to find a company where I'll be really, really happy. Yeah, things happen. I, I, I love the team there. I love my manager, but things happen at the company. I'm not going to talk about. So I ended up leaving. I made a video about this too. <laughs> Link in the description below. Hopefully we'll see. But, but I quit that job. I moved to another company. No one knows who this company is. So I ended up leaving New Relic to a new company. And let's talk about the next company. Oh, I I got this offer letter. I don't know if I'm going to show you the name of the company. If I stayed in the company name, I might blank it out, beep it out. I don't know. We will see. But check out this offer letter. So I received this offer letter from <laughs> offer package, Chris Sean. The date that this offer letter was issued was September 8th. It was actually September 9th, 2021. But look, check this out. The offer letter was, was set to expire the next day. So I received this offer letter September 9th and it was set to expire September 10th. Is that not bad or is that not bad? <laughs> it's so bad! Because I think that's bad. <laughs> So anyway, let's just keep moving on. So my job was to be a senior developer advocate at this company. Now, let me show you the next part. Let's just go on to the offer letter. So this was their offer letter. It wasn't actually like a PDF file, uh, uh, you know, just like everything else I showed you. But check this out. So my offer was senior developer advocate where I focus on creating video content for them. I was supposed to start on September 20th with an annual base salary. Now, my last job was 160K base. This company, $180,000 base salary working from home. And they were offering me $8,500 in stock options. And this is the way that some of these companies pull you. Honestly, this is a red flag too. What they say that your options that we're going to give you, if you stay here for at least four years, your options could be worth $6.3 million. And gosh, when I read that at first, I'm like, that's so amazing. And I realized that's never guaranteed. They're just trying to inflate that number 
to convince you to join them, even if they only give you one day to accept the offer. That's a major red flag. How do y'all know? How do I know it's a red flag? I stayed at this company for only two months and ended up leaving. If I'm not happy, if it's a very toxic culture, which other people have left for as well, you know, I totally understand. The money was amazing. I wasn't happy. I left after two months. I literally quit with like, what, one week notice? I just, I, my mental health was going down the drain when I worked at this company. So I ended up leaving. And so I left with no job waiting for me. And I started interviewing again like crazy. And this is where I received another job offer. Let me show that to you right now. So after quitting that last company, I had no job waiting for me. I started interviewing two to three weeks later. I received an offer from this amazing company. And let's look at this offer letter right now. So here's from November 23rd. It says, Dear Chris. And what they offered me was $170,000 base salary with RSUs totaling up to around $185,000 a year. Now, I didn't like that. <laughs> I wanted to make more money. They ended up raising the total compensation to about, well, base salary to $190,000 a year plus RSUs. But again, still, that wasn't enough for me. I ended up interviewing at even more places and I found a better paying job where I work now. Where I work now, I work at an amazing company. They pay me better than all of my other companies. Amazing work-life balance at times. I do work at a startup, so it's not always amazing work-life balance, but when things aren't crazy, I mean, life is great. I love where I work. Culture is great. Get to work with my homie, Chow Codes, amazing manager as well, and I couldn't be happier. Now, I'm not gonna show you the salary. I'm a current job, but I wanna let y'all know that this is the progress I went through over the last six and a half years, almost seven. So what I want y'all to see is the progression of my income year to year, right? I didn't share exactly what I do in New Relic, but it's all DevRel work from New Relic to to where I am now, which is creating content, giving talks at conferences, traveling the conferences, traveling around the world, really helping people better know your product, right? And so that's what I do now as a developer advocate here at Airbytes. And here at Airbyte, I've been here for a while now, longer than the previous companies, longer than I've been at New Relic, you name it. And I plan on being here for a while. I love where I work. Hopefully with this recession, everything still works out and I couldn't be happier. But I want y'all to know that, yeah, your income may not grow super fast, but over five years, six years, it can grow significantly fast. So anyway, Hope y'all enjoyed this. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.